this video, I'm gonna show you the secret to bad weather for grocery stashing. It's amazing! All right, so I came back from this crazy weather and let me show you my tricks for making bad weather, bad color, interesting. This one I shot in Malibu, it was pouring rain and I went under a bridge so that I wouldn't get rained on and I had an ND filter on and the, and the wave were coming at me. So this is what I'm gonna do on this one. I could go black and white, but I don't wanna do that. What I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna give it a color cast. So I'm gonna open a shadow and I'm gonna bring down the highlights. I'm in Lightroom Classic, yes sir. And then I'm gonna hold down the option key and find a nice black point. What you wanna get a strong, like three, you see what you see in black is very strong black point. And now I'm gonna reveal the photo with a bit of white. Okay, this one I think I wanna focus a little more. It's too centered. So I'm gonna go here and I'm going to go 16 by nine, 16 by nine. And I think what's more interesting is the water, the leading lines from the, you know, like if you look at this photo it was shot at one second, one second away we're coming at me. Okay, but here's the trick. Let's give it a color cast. So if we go to daylight on the white balance, it's very blue, um, maybe a little too much blue. So maybe let's go to, uh, Find like some white balance, give it a color cast. So I like to go to maybe cloudy, cloudy no. So I kind of like cloudy, but I want to bring it back some blue. And then I'm going to add a lot of contrast to it so that we get like a very dramatic photo. And then I'm going to turn down the vibrance. That's the key is you want to give it a bit of a color cast, but then you want to take it away with a vibration. That way you have a very contrasty photo and you got a very slight color cast. Now, if you want to go crazy on this thing, you can add a little film look to it where you go to the color grading and you add even more blue in the shadow, but then you counterbalance it with a bit of yellow in the highlights. Okay? And just a little bit. I think it's a little too much. Okay? Just a little bit like that. It gives like a bit of a film look to it. And then what I'm going to do is, and it's very important because the, the sky is way too bright, I'm going to take a gradient and I'm going to lower a bit the gradient here so that it's it's a, a bit more dark and we're coming through the photo. You see, it's not quite black and white. I think maybe a little more blue. Yeah, maybe a little bit less blue like this. It's not quite black and white, but it's, it's interesting, okay? And that was the before photo and that's the after. Now, sometimes when the weather is really bad, I got up once at six in the morning in, in Florence and I got this shot and it was just pouring rain. It was just not nice. So on this one, I just go black and white. And honestly, on these kind of things is I use my preset. See, I got three preset, darker, lighter, or normal. I think I'm gonna go for darker. And then once you apply the preset, you gotta do two things. You have to do these two things. Again, the presets are for free. Uh, when you get your presets, by the way, you just tell me which email you want me to send it to, I send it to you, and then I'm gonna try to upsell you on my latest training, how to learn Lightroom in two hours, pro camera tips, how to master your camera. It's a half an hour course, it's incredible. Just how to get like really sharp photo, well exposed, and then how to master Lightroom in two hours. You know, this is my latest and best training ever. Uh, you'll get a chance to get it once you grab the free preset. So the first thing you have to when you use a preset is hold on the option key and verify your black point. Yeah, I want a very strong black point on this one and just play around with the white. Okay, but then you have to, and you have to play around with the white balance. It's gonna change a lot of the photo and make sure you have something that you like. Now on this one, I kind of like it, like just like that. I mean, look at this. It was We came from this to this. What I'm about to show you is probably my favorite photo in New York. Now, I have a whole other list of urban presets, which you also can get for free. It's under this video. And I call it the looks. See, and what I do is I just go look one, look two, look three, nah, look four. Woo! Look four is amazing. Look five, no. Look six, woo, look six is great. Look seven, let's see, look four, nah, look four is the best. Okay, I'm just gonna take look four. Now on this one, same thing in preset. You hold on the option key. Okay, you're good. And then something like that. Voila. And then of course you have to take care of this. There was a lot of sensor dust on this one. And the funny story about this photo is like, I, uh, I was doing a book on, on New York and I was, me and my wife were so tired, we went to bed very early, like eight o'clock, and we just couldn't walk. We had to walk like 25,000 steps. And then I heard that it was raining outside. And I told my wife, and it was getting to the blue hour, and I told my wife, oh, 
I, I gotta get you know I gotta get a, sh a photo because I I had seen that subway station anyway so I went outside and I put on an ND filter because I wanted to erase the people that was passing by true story and I, I took this photo and I've been sending it in gallery ever since it's been one of my best selling photo in galleries uh, ever and it's just okay let me make it straight with auto and it's got this sort of like desaturated contrasty look I think this one I'm even gonna add even more contrast even more desaturation and it just works so well like contrasty and desaturated which is what these looks are really works really well okay one last uh, this was probably the most pouring rain ever of my life uh, I was like so wet and I was on a tripod and I got this shot so same thing is let's see if we can lose one of the looks no no I love that Lightroom oh I like look four again five six seven I think I uh, six is gonna be my favorite you can see the umbrella there so I'm um, you know I'm gonna make it straight and um, and I'm gonna crop it 16 by 9 and voila so make sure you get a preset I also put the link directly to my latest training if you want to learn tricks and composition to get like really strong composition in your photos and then pro camera tips it's my latest training the link is under this video okay on this one I think I'm just still gonna do a little bit of a gradient I want to darken the very top of the photo but I love it you know it just it gives like a bit of a look to all this bad weather photography I hope you'll try this preset try it on your photo you'll be surprised I have people sending me photos every day or tagging me on Instagram because they use the Hubbard preset or, or, or the black and white preset they're really amazed and if you really want to get to the next level you can also book a call with me I freed up a few spots next week and I'm helping photographers to really scale their business you know become award-winning photographer getting published really getting the impact they want to get and if you want to work one-on-one -on -one, you can also book a call with me and my team and I'll see you in the next video